Good morning, folks, and welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time, my name is Jeremy, and this is Colony Hills Homestead. So, we're going to be talking about dehydrating today. We have been putting up tomatoes, uh, veggies from the garden for weeks and weeks now. We've been doing a lot of canning. Uh, we do a lot of vacuum packing and freezing. So, we want to make sure that the enjoyment that we're getting now from our garden, that, that we can still have that in November, December, and January. So, tomatoes, bumper crop, always plant too many. Give away all I can give away, but we still have so many. So, we're going to be dehydrating tomatoes today. We're going to be using my Cabela's Harvester Pro Dehydrator. I'm going to show you how it works. It's digital. has I think I have five trays. Yeah, five trays come with this. You can add trays if you'd like. I don't know if they're still producing this exact model, uh, but they have, Cabela's has many, and they're just, Amazon is filled with dehydrators. So I've had good luck with this particular one, so I'll give you the specifics in a link below that you can read it about or see in the description. We're also gonna share a recipe with you today. So in the description, we're going to leave a recipe for tomato and basil soup. Woo-wee! Only about five or six ingredients. You give me that and a grilled cheese sandwich, I'll ought to sit there till I hurt myself. Come on. Come on now. Well, anyway, come along with us. I'm going to show you how we get these going. I'm going to show you the middle process. I'll show you the ending process and how we put them up. All right? Be right back. All right, guys. Well, you got to start with a bunch of beautiful tomatoes. And I'm going to show you, these have been washed and cleaned. I'm going to show you the thickness that I cut these and put them on the tray. When you put them on the tray, make sure that they aren't touching each other. You don't want to cut these too thin. You cut them too thin, they will dehydrate away to absolutely nothing. But... You want about an eighth to a quarter of an inch slice. See that thickness there? It's about what I like. You also don't ever want to put a tomato on a dehydrator that has this closed in on it. Okay, so always make sure both sides have an open end. Oh, and when these are dehydrating, the smell is fantabulous. Make sure you have yourself a good sharp knife. Nothing more dangerous than a dull knife. Okay, I'm not going to bore y'all with all of this because as you can see i've got a lot of cutting to do i'm going to go ahead i'm going to fill these racks up with these tomatoes and i'll come back to you with the settings okay i've got three trays loaded up with tomatoes and look at there some fresh basil that is going to smell great so, I'm going to go ahead and load this in. I'm going to show you what settings I use. All right. So, we're going to turn this on. We're going to set our time. And I'm going to go ahead, since it's early in the day, this will possibly have to run about two more hours than, than what I'm setting it for. But I'm going to set it for 10 minutes, I mean 10 hours. May have to run for 12. The basil will probably come out at about five hours. So we're going to set the temp now. It goes from 80 to 160 on this particular machine. Sometimes I will go ahead and set the machine to 160 for the first 30 minutes to let it heat up. 
but I'm gonna go ahead, I'm putting it on 145, and we're gonna start this. I can hear the fan kick on, the air blows out the front. Already smells great, that tomato and basil, can't wait. All right guys, I'm gonna show you what it looks like in probably about four hours. Okay, it's been on for approximately five hours. I know that the basil is gonna be ready, so I'm gonna take that shelf out and set it aside to be put up later. But I'm gonna show you what the tomatoes look like at this juncture. I want you to notice that they're still wet, but they are drying out. They're about halfway there, but this is what this is what they're going to look like at this point. So we're just going to continue to let these go. We've got them at 145. We'll check back in later. Okay, guys, our tomatoes have, are done. I did wind up having to do them for about 12 or 13 hours because of the thickness that I, I cut them. But that's that's just how I like them. Like I said, they can dehydrate away to nothing. So you want them crispy or at a minimum, at least leathery, okay? That's that's what we're looking for here. So, and uh, I'll just put them down in several different ways. Now we, we could vacuum sell them, you know, with the food saver, uh, we, we do a lot of vegetables that way. But I'm going to put these in a jar because I like to use them, resell them, use them, resell them. I don't have to do it all at once. So I'm going to put a deoxidizer packet down in there. Get these on Amazon. They're very cheap. I have a huge package of them here. Um, but they are going to keep that from getting stale. It's going to keep it fresh. We're going to pop a lid on this mason jar here. And I'm going to show you a little gadget that we got recently. It charges with a smartphone, okay? And has two different size lids, one for larger mason jars, one for smaller ones. And it also has a connection that it can hook to uh, the vacuum uh, machine that I just showed you, okay? It does have a certain type of Ziploc this works with as well. Um, but I really like this. It's quick and simple. Um, you just press this down. Press this all the way down. This has like a silicone, silicone, silicone ring there that's going to make the seal. And you just push the button on the top. Hold it down, they say about eight seconds, 10 seconds. Let's see if it worked. Yeah. Yeah, it's sealed up. So there you have it, guys. That's, that's how we do it. Now, if I wanna pop this seal and go in for a recipe and, and get some of this, I can always reseal this right back up, okay? We hope this video helped with the information regarding dehydrating. Dehydrating is such a great way to sustain food for the future uh, for you and your family and your friends. We will leave links down below to the things that we use in case you would like to also look into those items. and. We would like to see comments from you on what you think about dehydrating versus canning or vacuum sealing, or what do you do differently that may help us. And throw us a recipe down below if you have time. Until then, stay neighborly. Pay it forward if it's been paid to you. Help others when you can, and God bless.